guys, I'm sure we all know what gems are in Murder Mystery 2 and why they're so important to the game. But what if I were to tell you guys that gems really do not need to be in Murder Mystery 2 and they could be removed from the game and not much would really change. I know that sounds crazy seeing how important they seem to be, but hear me out here. So of course, gems are a premium currency. The only way to get them is through spending Robux. You cannot get these just by playing the game. There's never been a way to get them for free. You have to use Robux to get gems. That's the only way. And the only thing you can do with gems is to use them on items in the shop. Now hear me out here. What if we removed gems from Murder Mystery 2 and instead of effects like dual wield costing 900 gems, they would instead cost 900 Robux. Not much would really change, right? Since one gem equals one Robux in the grand scheme of things, so this would still cost the same amount of Robux to get, but you would not have to go Go through the process of buying lots of these gems and we can do this with many different items as well like the diamond radio costing 2500 gems it could cost 2500 robux maybe a little bit less since the more gems you buy the bigger sale you get so maybe this is like 2000 robux or 2250 robux something like that because all gems feel like to me is just murder mysteries form of robux like if you want to buy any of these items that cost gems you need to do work in the real world you need to do that to get real money and then you spend that real money on robux and then you spend that robux on gems and then you spend the gems on whatever you want to get in murder mystery too like there's lots of different steps to actually get this like i feel like we could just straight up remove one of those steps that seems a lot more simpler than the method we have right now and to make things even more simpler we could realistically turn a lot of these gem only items as game passes so you can buy them right off of the roblox store and i feel like that would make more people buy these since you won't even need to go in game and find them in the shop, you know what I'm saying? And not to mention, we already have shop godlies as game passes for Robux instead of gems. Like, Nicholas could realistically make these cost gems, but they're Robux already. Like, Nicholas could turn every single gem item into a shop item similar to shop godlies. Theoretically, there are ways to make gems useful, however. Like, for example, if Nicholas made, like, some sort of a free way to get gems. I do have a few ideas of what Nicholas could do to make gems more useful, but I might make that its own separate video. So let me know if you'd like to see a part two to this video. Where I talk about methods that we could be able to get gems for free in a future update if Nicholas wanted to do it. But yeah, guys, please let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that gems are actually useful after watching this video? Because personally, I've always just seen gems as like an inconvenience. Like, there's not really a reason to have these in the game. And if Nicholas removed them and just replaced all the gem items for Robux items, I wouldn't really complain. The only issue with removing gems would be, like, some people already have gems on their account. Of course, we won't want to lose those. But Nicholas can always just turn those gems into coins. Like, if someone had 100 gems, gems, we could just turn that into a thousand coins. Similar to how candies and snow tokens can turn into coins during the event as well. But yeah guys, that's about it for this video, so I'm gonna end it off here, so until next time, goodbye!